Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. I'm sorry for this one being a late one. I know you guys wanted this review for a while. Uh, we're going to be checking out the versatile Rat King, Lucas Vasquez. <laughs> we're taking a look at a card who, uh, you know, to be fair, actually looks really cracked. Like, this is probably... Th this could potentially be the most versatile card I've ever seen in this game. Could be. Could be. There's a lot of very good versatile cards, but this guy, he looks kind of cracked, okay? We're taking a look at someone who's five foot eight, high high work rates, right footed, four star skills, they four star weak foot. In regards to his in game player traits, he has the speed dribbler for CPU. I mean, look at this card's stats. What the heck is this? Okay, cool beans. Uh, so he's got ninety six pace, ninety two for a sprint speed. My boy actually ended up going with the anchor chemistry style on him, which. To be honest, guys, does make the most sense to make him as versatile as possible because if you want to use a card like this in the attacking areas and defensive areas, boosting his defense and physical as well as his pace as much as possible is the most ideal thing to give him because his base card stats for shooting is already top class, his passing is already top class, and his dribbling is already top class. Taking everything into consideration, the only thing that's off with this card is the average body type, but that's only if I actually want to use him in the attacking area mostly, and I really don't even think it's going to be that big of a problem because we're looking at a card that is five foot eight, which is a very big variable to consider when it comes to uh, looking at this card, right? But guys, he's got 99 shot power. The card is like, to be honest with you, he's considerably cheap on the market. Like 300 and something K for a very versatile card like this is insane, right? Uh, 99 shot power with 95 long shots at 99 for attacking positioning. Uh, base card stats are passing super nice. Dribbling all in the 90s, low 90s. Uh, but we're going to see what it's like with the average body type. Base card stats for defending is already in the 80s. You know what I'm saying? It's already in the 80s. And then the shadow chemistry style is going to boost it even more, man. It's crazy. I actually want to see what uh, the math actually does to this card here. So with the anchor chemistry style, the only thing that's like low-ish is defensive awareness. But you give him extra physical too, man. Plus 5 for aggression, plus 10 for strength, plus 10 for jumping. Like, jeez, this card looks insane. I'm pretty sure you're using him in like different formations. Like, he... Oh, he's going to be crazy. So let me see what you're using. Sub 2 Inception. You're a beast, Jordy. Appreciate you. 352. He's got to be playing right mid for this makes a lot of sense what we can actually do for the sake of the review though is i can actually switch Hyungman's son there and then fernando torres here stay central getting behind for both players i'm i'm down for that for the 352 actually yeah for the 352 i don't mind that at all so for the ultra attacking huh four triple two scn oh he doesn't use this formation or he does actually he probably just does this actually he switches this here Probably use Socrates with Sun, or Fernando Torres with Sun. Probably something like that. Doesn't look like he uses this one, though. We'll try the 3 5 2 with this card, guys. Let's see what he's like there. I might switch him to different formations because he could. Like, this, this card looks like he'd be good at center mid, CDM, fullback. It literally doesn't matter. This guy seems really cool. That Royce card, man. I messed with that Royce card super hardcore, man. Super, super hardcore. A former England defender, Lee Dixon. And on the menu for you is a division rivals game. <laughs> His dribbling is actually not bad with the average. <laughs> the meta racking. Royals moving the ball with purpose. Lucas Vasquez. Yeah, I like his dribbling, guys. His dribbling is actually solid. For an average body type, it's not bad, though. Especially for someone who has defensive stats and stuff. Lucas Vasquez. Hey man, that build up play was really sick. I messed with that hardcore, dude. That was dope. That's good. He actually stops making his run right there because it didn't make sense anymore. I, I think this card's going to be freaking cracked, man. Lucas Vasquez. And return to Vasquez. And it might be. Cheese, man. Bro, I have an anchor on this guy. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I have an anchor on him, bro. De Bruyne now. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Lars Bender's block. 
Yeah, it, it's because he's a beast. That's why the ball deflected right back to me. Uh, it's because he's absolutely top class at this game. <laughs> I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by former England international... Dude, look at his dribbling. Average body type what? Like, are you kidding me? Dude. Oh, this card is like... Like, I couldn't care less that his body type is as is is the way that it is. I couldn't care less. Dude, this thing is crazy. I'm telling you, this thing is... Uh... <sighs> he's such a rat, dude. <laughs> oh my god, he's such a rat. He's such a rat! Dude, if I if I saw that I saw the run earlier, I should have made the pass earlier. Can they create something from here? Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Dude, if it actually registered my second heal to heal there, I would have been sick. Here's De Bruyne. His attacking AI guys, even in the high, high work rates, it's so freaking good, man. It's like Sun. You know how Sun has the high, high work rates? It doesn't matter if Sun has the high, high work rates. It's literally the same thing with this Lucas Vasquez card. If you want to use this card as an attacking player, you definitely could. Look at how fast he goes into the empty space, man. From the regular pass, I'm not doing a 1-2 play with him. to get tighter can he play it in dude his dribbling comes off so nicely like i'm telling you guys it's really good dude what are the formation does jordy have let's see here so he's using lucas vasquez also in a 4-4-2 playing as a center mid this is actually perfect because what i'm going to do with this is i'm going to keep him on balanced and just cover center yeah, we'll use a 4 4 2. Well, to close down the shorts. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. Son! Well, Son on the uh, finesse shot can never go wrong with that. Look at how aggressive Lucas Vasquez was in the center mid position. Oh my goodness. And we'll just collect that ball right away. Almost could have been possession based, but you know, kickoffs do be weird, so. <laughs> Sun is so good. So, so good. Guys, Lucas Vasquez as a center mid, it, it's it's literally not going to matter where you put him. Do you guys see that whole buildup? How he's just constantly moving? Look at that defensive play just by itself. Oh my goodness, this card is such a rat. It's disgusting. Son. The ball with Lucas Vasquez. Socrates. Oh, there he goes. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Oh, I was about to say that's not a penalty, because your boy kind of timed that in a saucy way right there. Come on. What does this guy have for penalties? 70 penalties. I mean, they had to nerve him somehow, right, chat? They had to nerve him somehow. Dude, he's so agile, man. Just applies pressure immediately. Look at this, constantly. Nothing. He can't do anything, bro. Jeez. Socrates. An incisive pass. This card is so good, man. He's so this is this is uh this is one of the best cards I've used this year. 100%. Like, listen, I'm using him as a striker for fun right now, right? But, guys, this card... Okay, let's just say, for instance, 3-5-2, my boy's using him as a right mid. He's gonna be a freaking monster at right mid. All right, guys, let's use him in the 4-2-3-1. Guys, um, it, it literally... 
he's one of the best cards in this game. In my opinion, I genuinely think he is. He's so... He's not only fun to use, but the fact that I can use him wherever I want is just... It's too much, bro. It's way too much. Lucas Vasquez? Nah, I gotta, I gotta play like regular FIFA with like Torres up top. I gotta do it. Because that's where I would actually use Vasquez in that right attacking mid position. Nope. And it's with Socrates. Lucas Vasquez. And return to Vasquez. Can they nudge in front? And oh my score. goodness, man. There it is. Oh and my goodness. Just what they were <laughs> Look at his running animation. Oh no, if you scored that with your left foot, I would have quit. I would have quit. And now Vasquez. And perhaps Lucas Vasquez. Oh, he actually followed me there. Wow. We will take it. We will take it. Vasquez, show me your god tier pens at 70. Right down the left side. Lucas <laughs> Vasquez. Tremendous vision from Socrates. Jeez, you still hit that finesse out of your week for like that? Okay. All right, guys, so final verdict on Lucas Vasquez. Guys, if you have this card in your team, I was using him as a striker, as a ram, just for the sake of the review to test him out attacking and defensive-wise. I switched him to a 4-4-2 to try him out attacking and defensive-wise. Guys, this card is definitely an absolute monster. <laughs> he is the definition of a meta rat, 100%. He is... So good at doing everything, it is ridiculous. You can play him wherever you want. It truly does not matter. Honestly, I could even see him being a good center back at five foot eight. Like, yeah, the height's gonna bother him from time to time, but like any position, it doesn't matter. Right back, left back, uh, center mid, CDM, cam. The guy is so, so agile to move left and right. Attacking AI is incredible. Defensive AI is incredible because of the high, high work rates. The defensive stats that you give him with the anchor chemistry style is absurd. He has 99 acceleration, 97 sprint speed. There's really not much to say about this card. Honestly, there's really not. Um, if you want to make his finishing better... If you really want to make his finishing better... Uh, that is something that you can do, right? Like you could give him like a hunter... You can give him a, a finisher, right? Just to make his finishing a 99 to work with the 99 shot power. But from some of the strikes that I ended up taking with the card, um, I don't expect him to score unless I gave him that boost or unless I expect him to be that main attacker in my team, which he wouldn't be, right? Like if I was using like a 3-5-2, he would be my right mid pushing forward, coming back. If I was using a 4-1-2-2, and he would be my center mid. If I was using a 4-2-3-1, he'd be either one of the attackers or he would be my CDM. Like it, it genuinely doesn't matter where you play this card. It just depends on how your team is lined up. It's so easy to link this card in your squad too. It's insane. Absolutely insane card. Guys, if you guys end up packing from an SBC, Whatever it is, use them in your team. You guys are going to lo love this card. On an anchor, he is absolutely ridiculous everywhere. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. The finishing is the only thing that might be like a little bit off. But you still got to take high percentage strike areas. You know what I'm saying? Like That's what you have to go for. The average body type, I couldn't care less about his average body type. I genuinely could not care less, dude. His dribbling is incredible. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys for the next video. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.